Hi guys, it's Connie Jo with Posh League. I'm a gold premier and I wanted to do a really quick video on fizzy fundraisers. So I've already done one um, uh, video on fizzy fundraisers, but it was several months ago and I have now done several fundraisers <laughs> and I've um, learned from some things that I've done. And so I wanted to post a new video and have you um, learn from my mistakes rather than um, making the same mistakes that I did. So first of all, the very biggest change um, is the price that I'm doing my fundraisers for. So I was doing six for $30, which were $5 each. I'm still doing them for $5 each, but they are sets of four for $20. So um, the biggest reason for this is everyone seems to have a 20 in their pocket or their purse, and it's so much easier for them to spend 20 than 30. <laughs> um, I'm having people buy two, three, four, five, even. Um, I've had one person buy eight sets, nine sets. Um, it ended up being $168 because I was mailing them to her. So um, anyway, they um, $20 mails, I mean, $20 spends easier than $30. So that's my biggest change with my fundraisers. The second biggest change is, um, what is it? What is it? I can't remember. Oh, the, the percentage that I give them. So when I first did my um, last video, I was giving them 50% of the sales. Um, I'm at 31% commission. So keep that in mind. So when you hear 50%, you're like, ah, um, I now do a scale 30% is what they start at, and then if they meet a certain requirement of and sell a certain amount, then it bumps up to 40%. The most they'll ever get is 40% of sales, which is $8 per um, set of 20. So, um, which which is really a good amount. I'm giving, you know, so, you know, $1,000 to some people. I'm giving $500 to some people. Um, so it's still a really good fundraiser. Um, the other things that I have learned is, so th this is what they look like. Um, this is what the little bag looks like before I package them. Um, I do them in sets, like theme sets, and this has not changed. Um, and I do the themes based on what sets or what shops that I want to buy. I buy the big shops. Um, and I always do. I always have enough fundraisers going on that I always buy the big shops. But if you have never done a fundraiser um, and you're doing your very first one, you probably want to look at the shops and plan it based on having to absolutely buy the smaller a smaller shop, but um, shoot for wanting to buy a bigger one. And the reason I say this is do your theme sets based on that um, and kind of put sense in there um, of the themes that you know that if you sell a small or end up buying a small shop that you won't even have that as an option to put in there, but they don't know that. Um, but if you have a big shop, you'll have that as an option. So um, my favorite shop to buy is the... Keen Queen shop. It um, has my personal favorites that I sell most of. Um, I do theme sets because I, of course, don't want them picking and choosing what they want. Um, and I do four bombs in each set, but in the theme, I have eight cents and I tell them you will get four of these eight. They don't get to choose which four of the eight. Um, and it just, and it says right here, it says, note there are eight cents in each theme, but you will only receive four bombs. This allows for possible various mixes based on supplies, demands, and availability. Um, and that's to cover me. So, um, so let me give you an example. The king, Queen scent uh, shop doesn't have lavender in it. Um, 
but the Soothe Your Senses theme that I have has lavender in it because if I end up buying a big or small shop, it's in a different small shop. But if I buy a big theme or a big shop, <laughs> more than likely I won't have that. Um, or if I do sell enough and I can buy two big shops, then I will have that covered. Does that kind of make sense? I hope. Um, my themes that have been most popular are A Day at the Beach and Soothe Your Senses have been really popular. Um, I have one called In the Garden, but hardly anyone gets that, so I'm no longer even offering that. Fruit Bowl has been really popular, and then Posh Perfection is kind of a lot of my best sellers, um, and so that's been a lot of popular ones just because I put on there um, like a little asterisk that has bestseller and so then of course lots of people want that too so anyway um, another thing that I've learned I have done big organizations and then individuals I prefer individuals it seems like they work harder um, the big organizations I was really excited for and they have not been as great um, here's one thing that I've learned with them. Um, I give prizes. So if the individuals, um, sell like a certain amount of sets, then they get like a little keychain. If they sell even more sets, then they get like little headphones. Um, and then here's where I have learned from my mistakes. So, um, it says, um, be one of the top three sellers and you'll get like a big bath bomb. Um, I did not put on there be one of the top three sellers who sell at least 16 sets. Um, and now I have started doing that because um, I did two different fundraisers and the first one, no one even sold 15 sets. No one, not even one single person. Yet I still had to give the top three people a bath bomb because I didn't have that little asterisk on there. Um, and then the next one that was an organization, two of the top three sold exactly 15. Um, and then the third person, I think, sold 10. Anyway, I had to give all three of them a bath bomb because I didn't have that on there. Um, and so now, after learning from my mistakes, I now put um, sell at least 16 and be one of the top sellers and get this. Um, and then I also put, um, you know, if you hit certain levels, um, win gift cards and other prizes. Well, neither of my organizations have even come close to that. So I haven't had to do that. Um, I do little folders for every single person on the due date that's due. Um, what themes, because sometimes I do adjust the themes based on availability. Like if I like the one that I just barely sent out, I had some holiday scents that I wanted to include, um, like the little ginger and the um, jeweled plum. I had some extras of those. And so I put the jeweled plum in the fruit bowl theme. And the little ginger, I included that in the Soothe Your Senses theme. Um, and so I, of course, make a copy of this, put it in their folder, put their folder in my little file here with all of the others. And then as soon as I get them, then I write out a check to them and send it off. And then I start putting together them. And it's a whole process. But trust me. <laughs> I've done so many that I have like this whole assembly line that I do like like I have like I have like this <laughs> is seriously my assembly line so I have like it says beach on it and so and then I like line up four 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 and then um and I can hit fit six in here and then like this one I'll see more beach and so then I can even line them up like this if I have lots of the beach. <laughs> Seriously, I have like this whole entire production. And then like 
this one is like a soothe your senses. That's for the soothe your senses. So anyway, it has been my biggest um, time consuming thing lately, but with me moving and my health being crappy lately, that this has been the best thing um, that has helped me. Anyway, so hopefully you've learned from my mistakes and um, you will be able to learn and take my advice. And if you have questions, let me know. Thanks. Bye.